Hey guys, welcome back to the Snapping Chronicles. We're coming back at you with another Ratchet video. Uh, this one, obviously, a Bonnie. And this is probably uh, among one of the earliest Bonnie designs that they had in Ratchets. It's uh, kind of a blast from the past. Uh, pretty primitive by today's standards, but uh, kind of built like a tank, pretty much. Uh, really simple. This is the Bonnie made in USA. This is the 4093. Has some letters down here. It says J V. And on the back has chrome vanadium and the CV chrome vanadium in the circle symbol. And here we have an arrow showing that this is just going in one direction. It only ratchets in one direction. If you want it to ratchet in the other direction you have to pull out the plug and stick it back in and now now you can ratchet in the other direction when you flip it over uh, I don't think that this is the original plug because uh, they were marked I believe with uh, 4094 this one says made in USA but it seems to be from some other manufacturer and doesn't say which manufacturer it is but at least it is made in USA this one's a little bit different from the original the original was kind of a long one with a, a cap on this side on this end or one end where you would stick it kind of all the way through uh, for whatever side you wanted it to be on so you would stick it all the way through the side and the cap on this side of the plug would keep it from going all the way through then you would flip it over and do the same with the other side but uh yeah uh supposedly there's a date code according to alloy alloy artifacts uh for these two letters here this is j v so v is supposedly 1930 or 44 uh, for some reason they had uh, the a letter code which only went 14 years so every 14 years it would start over again so the V is either 30 or 44 from the looks of this it has chrome vanadium on it I'm gonna say maybe it's 1930 I could be wrong could be 1944 but I don't think they were putting in the wartime they were using chrome vanadium <clears throat> because chrome uh, obviously was uh, needed for the war effort and a lot of tools uh, were made without chrome and they were made with other other uh, other coatings like uh, cadmium was a popular uh, coating for tools uh, during the war years and cadmium is kind of toxic also so if you have some cadmium tools be a little careful don't uh, use a wire wheel or something on those tools to clean them up because it's going to shoot up cadmium into your room and you might breathe it in and it's pretty toxic for your lungs so just a word of safety uh, this is also a very coarse ratchet only 14 I counted only 14 positions so only 14 teeth in this ratchet so it's pretty much among one of the coarsest ratchets uh, I've done another problem is you can't open these uh, you can see here you see the round rivets there so these were permanently uh, cl uh, closed or locked in here you see some of the rivets on this side uh, I don't see the rivet up here but it's maybe there uh, if you wanted to take this apart the only thing you can do is to drill those rivets and I don't know if you'll destroy it but uh, then you have to find a rivet or something to put in its place and that could become that could become kind of a project in itself so this one stays in the original uh, closed position but you can see the plates here also on the side you see the outline of the plates I guess there were two plates one on the front one on the back 
and like I said, a rudimentary um, gear in there, very coarse, 14, uh, 14 teeth. Um, this one sounds a little sloppy, probably could use a dunk in some, uh, in something, <laughs> uh, maybe like uh, automatic transmission fluid. A lot of people like doing that on ratchets that they can't take apart or they don't they don't want to take apart. Uh, a popular thing is to uh, just dip it in some kind of a solvent, like a, a light lubricant, like automatic transmission fluid, and leave it there overnight, and then just I guess uh, shake out the rest and. Uh, it cleans up that way but I don't know I'm not really gonna use this so I guess I won't go through the hassle of that but yeah pretty much that's it really simple uh, this one happens to be a half inch drive and it's about nine and a half inches long not too long but uh, pretty, built pretty solid you know for what it is which is one of, uh, I guess, the early ratchets of Bonnie. All right, guys, this is going to be a short one. Until next time.